Hello everybody, it's Pugmaster Flash, and I have returned. And today, we're going to be doing a review of the LEGO Star Wars 2022 ATT, which is a very highly anticipated uh, set for the LEGO Star Wars community. So let's start off with the uh, minifigures, and first with the Phase 2 Commander Cody, which is a very, very nice new Clone Trooper minifigure. So here is Phase 2 Cody. He's very detailed, as you can see. He's got one of these um, orange visors here um, and very nice uh, detailing on the helmet there, as you can see. Just got his normal um, black visor there that you can see through, obviously. And there's got some nice uh, markings um, on his helmet there. And then, as you can see on the torso, uh, he's got a lot of cool um, orange emblems and detailing there. Some like packs down here by his uh, waist, and then some continued detailing on the um, orange detailing on the legs there, with like the um, kneecap, um, uh, which which protects his um, knees obviously. Um, and then you've got um, just going to the other side. Uh, no printing on the side, unfortunately, but there's enough printing on the front and the back to complement for that. Um, and then on the back here, uh, he has his um, backpack or whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, that's just a print there. It looks quite nice. It's very uh, authentic to the end of universe design. And you can see all over on the figure, there's just a lot of um, like scratch and um, battle damage on his armor all over, which looks very cool. He's just got a normal blaster rifle here. And underneath the helmet, uh, he has actually a unique um, clone head, which is obviously the new um, style of clone head. Yet yeah, this one, um, Commander Cody is clearly very angry at this point, uh, and he has some really nice scars, uh, markings on his face, which you can see there. So overall, if I can just focus in again, a very nice new um, Commander Cody minifigure, and probably the best minifigure from this set in my opinion okay the next minifigure um is an updated um lego star wars clone gunner which is very cool to get in a set like this um and it says it's a 212 clone gunner um however i don't think there is a, any particular um clone gunner that is um, supposed to go in the 212. However, it's, it's still a nice figure to get. So anyway, um, he has um, an, a unique helmet, uh, of course, again, with the new style of Phase 2 clone helmets, uh, just with these bands going down the side here. The visor, the black visor, of course, and then some slight battle damage uh, all over his helmet, as you can see. We'll just tilt the minifigure up slightly. He has this... Um, pack going um from uh the side of his torso which is nice not exactly sure what it is but it's maybe holding some ammo in it i'm not sure uh yeah some more nice battle damage detailing it's got a small pistol here which is nice to get and then if we just turn the minifigure around uh he has some more um detail on the back of course uh, with some like straps that go uh, around his back which are quite nice and then if we just turn uh, him round again, underneath uh, his helmet uh, is just a regular Phase 2 clone um, updated face there, which looks very nice as per usual. Okay, so the next three clone tube minifigures are all identical, so I'm only going to review one of them. And these are just your standard 212th um, infantry troopers here. Um... Quite a few people have actually complained uh, about the markings uh, on his helmet that they um, don't go to a point, which obviously is a bit disappointing, uh, but I don't particularly mind, to be honest. Um, but yeah, hopefully they might, uh, in future um, iterations of this ATT, um, update those markings so it comes to the tip at the end instead of just leveling off like that. But anyway, the helmet is looks very nice. Um, I didn't actually get the battle pack from 2014, unfortunately. That was kind of my dark age era of Star Wars and Lego overall, really. So um, it's nice to get them here. Uh, three of them, in fact. Um, so we have some good detailing uh, on the torso there. Just the orange and white um, detailings all over. 
continuing down to the legs with the um, leg protection there. And he's just got a standard um, rifle there, as you can see. Uh, and then underneath the helmet, standard face to clone, as expected. And then going around the back, he just has some more continued nice detailing going on there. And the other two um, phase two 212 troopers that are included in this set, which are obviously, uh, if you just could just focus um, both here and here, um, they are the exact same minifigure, but just with, I'll just quickly show you, just with some much larger rifles going on here, probably like sniper rifles or something with that candle element at the end, which looks very cool. So finally, um, we also, as well as clone troopers, we've got to have some opposition, of course. So included are three uh, just regular battle droids um, to fight with on Utapau. And I'll just quickly show you these if you don't know what a battle droid looks like, but I'm sure you probably will do. Um, since they are an iconic prequel era um, battle droid. Anyway, so here we go. Here is just the regular battle droid. Uh, hasn't been updated since forever because it's practically perfect. Uh, just has the normal head there. No markings or anything. You just tilt that up and down, of course. Move the whole torso up and down. Move the arms. You know, the drill. Uh, but one of the possibly interesting things about this minifigure is it actually comes with not, uh, well, obviously the regular mould of a blaster. However, it's more of like a dark, like, chrome colour instead, which looks cool. Um, and yeah, so you get three of these battle droids in this set. Um, so now we've done the minifigures, I think we should um, clear these guys out of the way uh, so we can get on with the um, only side build of this set, which is um, like a, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's like a spider droid or something. Uh, but I'll just quickly show you that here. So this spider droid is... Um, Probably disappointing to some fans since obviously it would be accurate if on Utapau it would be a uh, crab droid, I think it's called. Uh, but I don't really mind because the main focus of the set is obviously the ATT. Uh, but anyway, it's um, it's a build we've seen repeated quite a few times. Just got that um, this dome section on top of his head, which you can obviously move around a bit with the antennae, um, whatever you want to call it, at the top there, which uses a lance element. Got those um, creepy red eyes um, at the front, and then just a regular um, cannon here, which you can angle up and down. Which unfortunately the eyes too kind of move with it. So if you want to just angle the turret, just hold the eyes, and then that's how you do that. And then obviously the legs can move as well, however you want, up and down. And then you can angle these droid elements here, which are actually used uh, up and down as well, which are quite nice. But yeah, just a uh, just a little side build inclusion here um, to battle the ATT. However, I don't think it's going to have much of a chance against this bad boy. So uh, let's um, look at the main build of this set. So obviously this is um, a great set to get in 2022 since we haven't had many prequel era sets recently. I mean, we've had some stuff based on the Clone Wars, but it's mainly just original trilogy stuff nowadays so this is a great model to get um for anybody who didn't get previous uh, iterations of the att which um i was unfortunate enough to miss out on the 2013 one so yeah this is great to get so let's have a look at the front section first and then we'll just uh move down so as you can see here's a very striking appearance it's a iconic att front section here uh, so you've got all those red tile elements used there, um, which look very nice. And you've got four uh, ball turrets, as you can see, which you can move around her, whichever position you want to go. And you can obviously move these bottom two as well. Uh, just uh, hang the camera a bit back here. You've got this huge turret on the front, which is obviously the main one, uh, which you can actually fit a minifigure in. If I can just put him here. Yeah, the minifigure will just go on there. It'll probably be the clone trooper gunner, since he is a gunner. <laughs> so 
So you just sits on top of the turret uh, and you can just position the turret around wherever you want it to go. It's a really nice build there actually and it's got these new elements here. You can just position this down uh, of these uh, lime green stud shooters there. Which can obviously fire out but I'm not going to do because I don't want to lose them. Uh, but yeah, that's just a nice inclusion. However, one little, tiny little nitpick I would say, but you can very easily mod this out, uh, is that, as you can see here, when I'm spinning the turret around, the clench of the gunner doesn't really stay in place. You kind of like wiggles up out of it. So it would have been nice um, if instead of just a tile bit here, we could have had just like part tile, part stud. Uh, so he's a bit more stable. You can easily mod that out um if you want to but yeah so that's the main turret it's a really nice build and um it's made a lot of, lot of technic elements there uh and if we look into the main cockpit here you can see it's just got these like uh, fence elements here i'm not exactly sure what they're called but you can just slide this out and then oh i'm just taking an element off there you can slide this section out uh which pretty much every other att is done uh, to show you the interior of the cockpit, it's just a better look at the glass elements there. And uh, it's just got the, some control sticks here, uh, which are expected really. It's just one seat for a uh, minifigure to sit in there. And that just uses these elements here so it can very easily slide back into the uh, main build there, which is very cool. Just get it to focus again, sorry what my camera's doing today anyway uh so now we've looked at that front section let's take a look at the side sections here so as you can see there's a fair few uh stickers um included in this set which really add to the overall detail which look really nice so as you can see down here there's just a sticker element there with just some battle damage shown damage shown and um the republic emblem shown there and it's a very nice, um, clean build here. You've got all these different plates which close up together very neatly, creating a very nice uh, look. And with these plates here, you can actually pull them out like this. You can pull this entire top half up. Uh, and then obviously the side, you can put this bit to the side as well. And then this is the uh, interior of the ATT. Uh, so there's not actually a lot to see in the interior, but um, fortunately for me, reviewing this set, I can easily show you the, the elements in here. So this element here is just a little bit you can take out. These are just some uh, thermal detonators here. You get two, two of them on this, whatever this stand is, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you can just put that back in there. And then there is also, uh, a larger element you can take out here this is just kind of like some seats to put some minifigures on uh, and then there's a nice uh, silver spanner uh, at the end here so it's just a nice little thing to uh, store some minifigures in in that interior space and yeah it's, it's a very it's a very solid sturdy build it was a really nice building experience uh, for me um, so yeah it's very cool and then it's really nice here. Oh, this is just falling off. Let me just put that back on. Don't want that happening. Uh, sorry, technical difficulty. There we go. So you just put that back on. Um, and I was just going to show you here. There are these elements here, uh, which is just like a um, 90 degree uh, plate there, which you can just nicely slot that this um, here in here so it doesn't uh, go out of place and you can do the same on the other side obviously and then there's just some lights on the front here which are quite a nice inclusion um, and then you can just very neatly slide that back down and then just put the cannon however you want it to go so now looking at the back section uh, from the side here again you've got another stickered element there very similar build with this plate here from the front there and there's a lot of, if I just lift it up, there's a lot of sticker elements from a bird's eye view there. You've got this large, these large three stickers um, on the top of the build here. And then there's also another one um, underneath the turret there with some battle damage, which is very cool. 
And then we can also, just spinning it to the side again, open up this entire back section as well, which is very cool. You see more stickers here with battle damage. So it's the exact same type of thing. Lift these plates out. Lift these plates out. And then this section here, it's actually um, very nice uh, because you've got two more uh, ball turrets here as well. You know the drill with those, they just go around like that. And these can separate, you lift that up to show even more interior space in here. And there's a bit more to see in here. So there's a control panel here. I might just actually take that out to show you because it's got a sticker element on it. So here is the control panel, if it just focuses. There is the control panel, which looks very nice. Very nice stickered element there. And that's just goes nicely in there. Uh, and then there's a load of seats, which are very cool. Just like a fire extinguisher there, standard. And then there's just this, another one of these builds here again to clip some weaponry onto if you want, which is a nice inclusion. And yeah, there's just a load of seats there. Don't forget the silver coffee mug. Gotta have one of those when you're going into battle in Utapal. And yeah, just a lot of nice interior space there. And you can obviously close this back up again very nicely. If I just uh, clip that back again, there we go. Um, and then these two flaps just fold back in. And the final thing I want to mention uh, is these legs, uh, which are the same on either side, obviously. Um, so if we can just get them in a nice enough position, just going all weird there. So here we are. Here are some large circular uh, plates uh, built here, which I thought were really nice, very rugged and sturdy look there, it's fresh out of the factory. Uh, and you can actually rotate these if you want to, but I just leave them like that, to be honest. Um, and then there's another like cog element here, which is a nice inclusion. Uh, yeah, it's just got a very overall standard Star Wars, light grey and dark grey and a bit of red in there, splash of red colour scheme. Uh, and then these feet builds here uh, are very compact, they're, they're nice. Uh, and then you can position this entire um, middle leg um, from left to right, which is cool for putting it in some, some nice positions if you want to. And then these back legs here and the front leg here are pretty much the exact same build, just symmetrical, obviously. Uh, with some smaller feet here using those nice smooth uh, tile pieces of course uh, and then you can't really position um, these as much they're kind of they kind of just like stay in place but with these same cog pieces there and there's some nice textures to the build uh, and yeah that is overall uh, really the ATT and you've probably seen me a couple of times during this review this is the most sturdy part here in the center mm -hmm. um, and this build is really nice it's like a all black section um as you can see with a handle um and it's a pretty sturdy handle it's been well built obviously the lego knows what they're doing because a lot of kids are going to be probably swooshing this around taking it from one place to another so you can just use these two fingers just lift this up as you can see and just lift the whole act up like so and you've got no danger of it um falling apart which is great. So that is my review of the ATT. And in my opinion, this is uh, a must have set. If you are uh, a Lego Star Wars fan, especially a fan of the prequels and the Clone Wars and all that, because this is just an iconic uh, Republic vehicle. Uh, Lego's just really, I think they've just really perfected the um, design of the ATT here. And yeah, it's just. Uh, so just recognisable, and uh, pretty much every Star Wars fan knows what this is, especially the fan of the prequels. Um, the price in the UK, uh, £120 RRP, uh, in my opinion, um, is very reasonable, um, because it has a great minifigure selection, especially with that lovely new um, Phase 2 Commander Cody, which just looks amazing, love that minifigure. Uh, and with a load of new clones to build your army with. Uh, nice battle droids for your inclusion. But obviously, the main thing you're paying for is this thing. Um, and yeah, it's very authentic to the original design. And I think 
a lot of kids, teenage fans, and a lot of adult fans will just really enjoy this set. So I will def definitely recommend uh, purchasing uh, this model. And even if you can find it, um, even better if you can find it on uh, discount on Amazon or something. But anyway, that is my review for the ATT. I hope you enjoyed. See you later, guys.